Taiwan is a part of China's territory. There's no such thing as a meeting line in the street. The Chinese armed forces conduct military exercises in waters off China's Taiwan Island to safeguard sovereignty and territorial integrity of China. Our measures are open and proportionate. They are in line with the both domestic law and international law and practices. They are beyond reproach. Reaction now with Derek Grossman. He's senior defense analyst at RAND Corporation. He's also a former intelligence advisor at the Pentagon. He joins us live from Bali, Indonesia. And thank you so much for your time, Derek. First of all, your reaction to what you've just heard there from the Chinese side. It seems as if Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan has given the Chinese an opening of sorts. We're now seeing these live fire exercises and simulations being conducted in the strait and around Taiwan. It's almost as if China is doubling down on its Taiwan position, and this U.S. visit hasn't scared them off. Your view? Yeah, thanks for having me. So uh, what started out, what was supposed to have been a temporary set of military exercises that uh, was going to end a few days ago is now has now turned into an open-ended series of military exercises encircling Taiwan. And, uh, you know, there's a big debate about whether this is the fourth Taiwan, cri Taiwan Strait crisis that we're seeing. Uh, and in my view, it's certainly a crisis because of some of the things that China is doing, uh, such as, you know, not only encircling Taiwan, but also um, encroaching on Taiwan uh, territorial waters and then also firing missiles over Taiwan's airspace. So it's a very serious situation. And we also just saw, I think in the last few hours here, the Taiwan Affairs Office, which handles relations with Taiwan, come out with a statement uh, along the lines of uh, what we just heard, essentially saying that Taiwan is an indisputable part of China and that Taiwan needs to accept reunification with China on China's terms. Derek, I'm, I'm really glad you brought that up, saying that this is a very serious situation, the escalation that we have seen since Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan, which I think is not something necessarily that, given this raid on Mar-a-Lago, folks in the United States really have a handle on, um, that, that this is all happening. Um, just can you give me a sense, if you will, when you think about this a little bit more broadly from that sort of Pentagon perspective, what's happening, do you think, in the intelligence community at this point? Are, are they kind of chasing their tails as a result of the politics that's been played? Well, uh, yeah, so, I mean, in order to better understand that, I think we need to break it down to the policy level and the intelligence level because they're not always doing the same thing. So at the policy level, the Biden administration is trying to calm nerves and saying that it's essentially an orchestrated crisis, that there's nothing to see here. China does not actually plan to militarily attack Taiwan. However, at the intelligence level, given my you know experience, I can tell you that everybody is probably frantically trying to figure out if, in fact, that's true. Uh, and looking at all of the different, what we would call in the business, indications and warning uh, uh, to determine whether there are certain indications, in indicators that are lighting up, blinking, you know, blinking lights, right, showing us that something is different now and that we need to, uh, to inform policymakers of that. Derek, it seems as if neither side at this point, the US or China, is willing to fight a war over Taiwan, at least for now. But how do you expect the United States to respond to these latest China-Taiwan tensions? I, I think what we're going to see is the Biden administration continue to calm nerves unless the intelligence community comes to them and says, no, actually there is something very new and different going on here. Uh, and then I think you'll see the administration pivot to uh, attempting to to support Taiwan through, um, you know, through uh, denial operations, essentially preventing China's People's Liberation Army from being able to cross the street and to set up a beachhead on Taiwan to try to conquer Taiwan, or short of an answer via planting invasion, something like you know China trying to launch missiles, ballistic and cruise missiles, uh, to set up a blockade. Um, you know, those types of operations will also be uh, of serious concern, and the administration will have to, you know, support Taiwan if they want to see Taiwan survive.